Welcome to Cooking Carbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to detect a specific key press, for example, the Enter key, on really any HTML object, but I'm using an input in this example. So right here is my input. If I select it and I press Enter, it says Enter key has been pressed. But if I type anything else, nothing happens. So it'll only detect when the enter key is pressed. And you can make this be any key on the keyboard. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so to get started, pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. And today you're not going to have to have anything copied. Alright, and we're going to start by making a doc type tag doc type HTML and on the next line open a script tag because we're going to be writing some JavaScript and make a function function I'm going to call it check key press check key press open parentheses data that's what we're going to call our variable you can call it whatever you want but I'm calling it data and then create an if statement. If data dot key code ah, key code with a code with a capital C equal sign equal sign so is equal to 13 that's for the enter key if you want to do for example the space bar that would be 32 and you can look up the key code for any key on the keyboard close parentheses, open curly braces, alert, that's what I'm going to have it do, and open quotes. The enter key has been pressed. Close quotes, close parentheses. And there's one more thing we got to do. On the next line, write return false. And the reason we're doing this is because for the amount of time you hold down the enter key, even if it's only a tiny piece of a second, it will keep on detecting it. So if you return false, it will stop doing that. Close curly braces for the function and close curly braces for the if statement. And close the script tag. All right. now open an input tag input input on key press so when you push down a key equals and in quotes return check key press or whatever you call the function open parentheses event and what the event is is all the information about the key press close quotes so what that will do is it'll run this function using your key press and then you'll just close that with the is greater than sign but you don't do slash input you don't close the input tag because it's an input tag and they're weird save that file I'm going to call it push down keys dot HTML now I'm going to pop up in Firefox or whatever browser you prefer to use. I prefer to use Firefox because it's good. And find the file and then drag it into your new tab. Okay, we have an input box. Let's type random things into it. Nothing happens. Now let's push enter. The enter key has been pressed and it looks like I spelled enter wrong. Now, just to prove this will work with any key on the keyboard, let's change this 13 to a 32 and change enter to space. Save that file, reload, press space. The space key has been pressed. Let's type in a random number. This may or may not work. Let's try 45. Why not? Save that file. And now, 
let's push down. Random keys. Oh, you gotta reload in the browser. I forgot about that. Now let's push down random keys until we find out which one is number 45. Or if there is one. There it is. It's the minus key. So now if I just select all and delete, the minus key is number 45. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, buy my merch, and remember, the sky isn't always blue.